Hello friends, I'm Nikhil Agarwal and I welcome you to another episode of Coding Techniques where we are going to learn how to design custom ionic tab. So the design that we are going to build today is this design. This is the custom tab that we are going to design today. So for designing this custom tab, what I'll do, I will first take my Instagram clone application as a sample application which I have already created in the previous video. So I'll just use the code out here and we will manipulate it to get the result that we are looking for in order to have that particular design. So in order to build this design, let's check it out what all things do we need to do. So let's get started and design this up now. So out here, I have already opened up the code. So if you have not followed my previous videos, you can just go to the Instagram clone application and out there you will get the just go through the whole video and in the description you will get the link for the source code you can download it up and you will have the same design out here also so this is also a custom tab which i built in the previous video where we are using custom actually it's not transparent it's semi-transparent tab and rounded tabs also so out here it is rounded it is uh, semi-transparent all right now this time what we are going to do we will have semi-transparent along with that we will be using the fab button at the center in order to design it as the way we need so let's get started now at first what i'll do in the html part i will not have this tab let me just comment this tab now and instead of this what we will have let's check it out but let's see the design first all right now we have the four tabs now in order to have the fifth tab in the center what am i going to do let me just remove it and out here i will simply have an svg so this svg what is the use of an svg actually well it is a graphical representation of an svg so this svg tag is a container for svg graphics now there are several methods for drawing the path and this is our path which we need out here all right now in this the fill color is red that is why it is showing as red but out here we need it to be white color all right so what we are going to do for that now out here you can see how i have drawn this path actually that is more important for you before going ahead and i'll just give you a brief idea so you can set the height and view boxes out here the width also you can set it up and this is for xml parser because you are if you are using any xml voucher so for the path what we are doing we are just using the symbols along with the some values so what does it mean so out here the m means move to move to position 100 and similarly all the symbols out here have some meaning just like z means again close going back to the closing one so this is the way how it works you can just go to the internet and search for it you will get the design all right different kind of design can be made out here and you can bring your own designs also out here so this is the design which i wanted and i have built this up now let's use it as we want now out here i already have this let me just change the designing for that so out here let me access the SVG separately and in, in here I'm going to give the width to be let's say 80 pixels let me change everything out here only and then the I'll change the path also let me give fill color to be the one let's say white color and we have already defined the white color in our Instagram clone application so we can directly use it up out here and color white all right now you can see it is hardly visible all right so now what I'll do I will even use margin top to be 16 pixels because I want it to be little down so that it will give us good exposure of having a v u shape right all right once that is done you can see out here we have some spacing all right now what I'll do in the ion tab bar, I just want it to be transparent. I don't want to pass any color out here or the opacity, just the transparent one I need. And along with that, what I'll do to the ion tab button, I want it to be of white color. So I'll simply pass this color. Now what will happen, these tabs will get white color and the background will be transparent so that we won't see this white color out here. All right, there we go. Now you can see we have a U shape out here but still a lot of work to be done out here so that we can achieve the same design which we are looking for and for that at first i want this part to be the rounded one and i don't want any line spacing out here which you can have but i don't want it right now so what i'll do let me go to the html part and out here let me pass a class out here class equals to wishlist similarly to my search button also tab button 
I'll pass a class search. Now what am I going to do out here? Let's go to SCSS and out here. I'm going to access this too. So I and tab button dot search and similarly I'm going to access I and tab button dot wishlist. Now why I'm using this class you will just come to know in a second. Now out here what I'll do let me pass some margin left to be let's say minus two pixel. There we go. Now you can hardly see the border right. It is almost negligible. So we we will do the same out here in our wish list and the only thing that we are going to change is margin right all right so once that is done i'll also pass a border radius so border top right radius to be 20 pixels similarly in my wish list i'll do the opposite instead of right i'll go for left let's save it and check it out there we go now you can see that it is showing very nicely the U shape and we hardly have a border out here but we do have a border out here and for that what am I going to do out here let me go for margin left to be 0 and in here I will go for margin right to be 0. Let's check it out whether this goes away or not. Alright now this design is pretty okay. Now let's check it in our Galaxy S5. So out here if you can just check it out it is quite obvious that we don't see any border radius out here but we were able to see it in our ios devices but not out here so let's design it out here at first now this is fine we have almost achieved everything but it's time to design the fab button for that i'll go to the html again and out here i'm going to design the fab button at the top of the tab bar so out here i'm going to design and what should i name it let's name it as custom tabs only all right custom tabs with fab button now out here i'm going to have my iron fab whose vertical positioning will be at the bottom and horizontally it's gonna be at this Sender. For iOS, let's have translucent to be true. In fact, you can give it in this manner, then also it's going to work properly as true. All right, now within this, what we are going to have, let's keep it in this manner on. There was some error popping up. That's okay. All right, now I'll have an iron fab button within my iron fab. Now, what is the use of it? Well, we are just going to define a fab button, and out here I'm going to pass the router link, which will redirect us to the tab slash add post which which was out there earlier right so if you do not have anything you can just design as you like the tabs page and if you do not know how to create the tabs page you can just go through this instagram clone app the first part and you will get to know about it now within my iron fab button what i'm going to have i'll have an iron icon all right let's align it properly now within this iron let's align it properly first now within this iron icon i'm going to pass the attribute name which one i should pass earlier we were using i think the film one film but this time i'm going to use the plus symbol because we are trying to add a new reel or add a new post that is what the button suggests to do all right so i'll use add outline for that now let's see how it looks like all right so it is nicely positioned now i need to change few things first of all i need to make this icon a bit bigger the plus button and along with that i'm going to change the background color of our iron tab button so let's do that up for that i'll go to the scss and i'm already out here actually so in the scss what am i going to do let's work with our iron fab button iron fab within that i have the iron fab button well this is the beauty of scss we can just have a hierarchy of things now within the iron fab button i'm going to access the iron icon to which i'm going to pass the font size to be to rem all right now it is looking bigger and better now the next thing that i need to pass is the background to our iron fab button for that i'm going to use the property dash dash background and even you can pass the normal color also directly to your to the iron fab button out here itself by passing color equals to primary or secondary whichever you like to do but i want to pass the gradient color out here and for that well i'm going to take it from the profile page yeah in the scss i have already used it for the instagram one i'm going to use the same out here i think this is the one which i'm looking for linear gradient let me copy this up from the profile scss i'm going to paste it out here in this manner all right so this is the linear gradient which i'm going to use out here let's save it and check it out how it looks like all right it is looking really lovely i would say and if i click on it it is redirecting me to the post adding the post screen now 
everything the transition is working as expected so we have nicely designed our taps page apart from one thing i think the border radius is still there so we have to eliminate that up now for that out here i'm going to pass dash dash border to be zero let's check it again now you see the border is gone right if i click on it we don't see any border right and it is looking really lovely i would say so we have successfully implemented our custom tab and which is looking really lovely all right now out here what am i going to do for our ios well we saw there was a border so let's check it out so out here we do have some border out here now what am i going to do for that similarly the one which i did for filling up the left side I'll do the same to fill up the right side but this time I think minus one pixel will do the work instead of minus two pixel same out here also I'll apply it and let's check it out whether it gets changed or not all right now you see that we don't see any border out here it is not visible right and the design is still intact there is hardly change in that so this is working nicely right now let's check it in our galaxy s5 also i don't see any change right now in fact i can do one more thing if i reduce this width to 78 then let's see what happens all right still it looks pretty okay and there is hardly any problem to it right we don't see any border left but we have to check it out here let's reload it up and see whether we get some border this time or not well we don't i don't think we see any border out here and it's looking pretty nice right if you just match this design well you will see it is the same right and we do have it this way also if i go out here it is still looking pretty obvious it is looking really lovely right so if you like the video please let me know by leaving a comment below and please hit the like button and do share with your friends if you liked it all right so see you guys in the next episode where i'll be bringing lot many designs for our customized tab so thank you very much for watching